Hi. So um, a lot of you have actually been asking more and more questions about Jeans for Good. Um, the first thing that I want to do is say I'm, I'm not affiliated in any way, shape, or form with Jeans for Good. It's just something that I personally am into, and if I like it, maybe there are other people out there that like it as well, and they just may not know enough about it. So first thing that I wanted to do is show you Jeans for Good. It's right here on Facebook. You just go to the top up here, type in Jeans for Good. You want to click the Use App button. Now on here, you're going to have several different things. Obviously, yours isn't going to look like mine because I've already went through and I've already, I've already done all the surveys. I've already done everything. Okay, so you have your health history questions. These are here. They're pretty straightforward. You know, this is up here are things that I I didn't do yet either. They they started after I had already done mine because I did my my tests uh, quite a while ago. Or for whatever reason, I skipped these. These are all the ones that I did. You know, they're 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 all fairly easy to do to begin with. Most of them like um, tobacco use, um, fertility, hearing, alcohol use. They don't take that long to do. There are some up here like patterns. They they're gonna take some time, but you don't have to do them all. I mean, if you get the time later to go on and do it, might as well. But then you have your daily tracking. Now the daily tracking, you know, sleeping, alcohol use, everything. What you can do is you can do them all today for last night, then tomorrow for tonight. And then you should be okay if you do it for the third day, as long as you do them all. Now, so that's three days, give or take a little. And then they will send you a test. Now, um, what they do is uh, they send you just a little test and you spit in it, you send it back, and then once that happens, you will actually be able to access, or they'll, after they give you the results, you'll be able to access your genome. Now, after you access your genome, it, I mean, you get results, don't get me wrong, you know, that's not a real big issue, you know. Okay, so here we are, we're at the access your genome. Now this is going to be two or so-ish months from the time that they start getting start actually sending your test to the lab and then they'll start doing their magic so what happens is you want to get results and obviously it's on Facebook so what they want to do is they want to make sure that there's security so everybody doesn't have access to your information just you so what happens is you click on get your genome and they will send you an email. Now in the email they will give you a, a passcode. Now the passcode's automatically going to change after this, so it doesn't really matter if you see it or not. Um, so I want to unlock my results. And then you get this page. My my count, my Jeans for Good um, genome is unlocked. Um, they have more information. You'll watch a little video that explains everything. Um, my results are pretty, pretty, yeah, um, I'm European. Pretty much that's, that's what I am. Um, pretty bland, nothing special. Now on this, well, maybe. <laughs> Let's try this again here. Okay, so we're right back where we were. 
this one, as you can see, it's got the little square here. This is where I am. It says that I'm, no shocker, closely related to Europe. Then you have the chromosome plot. Now, I don't really, like, I don't really take this as a whole because there's other websites that can also, you know, I, I've tested on Ancestry.com. I have tested on FamilyTreeDNA.com. And another family member on 23andMe.com. So, and then obviously, genes are good. It, this is very general. You know, it, it doesn't really closely match other websites. Um, some people would stop here. They're happy with the results. They they like what it says, and that's all that matters. If you're happy, then then stop here. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. Now, if you decide that you do want to go on and get your test results moved over to Genes for Good or over to gdmatch.com from Genes for Good, then that's where you're going to go to download your de genetic data. Now, what's going to happen here? Um, you're going to, the buttons are going to look different, but you're going to request it. They are going to send you a link in your email. In your email, you are going to put in your password that they've get, already given you. Then you're going to go to a private um, page that will give you your complete genetic data profile uh, folder. Now, in that folder, that's all your genes, that's all your information, everything that that you're going to need to move you over, that's everything. Now I'm not going to go into depth there because that's, it's not really hard, so I don't see the point in doing so. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot, a whole lot there, you know? But the whole point is, is that you genes for good. Um, genes for good actually, it's like I said before, it's the vessel to give you the free, the free test. You know, some things to, to remember about the test itself when you get it, when you're spitting in the in the tube, you have to make sure that the fluid that you know your spit. It actually goes above the little line. Bubbles don't count. If you send in a test and it's got too many bubbles in it or whatever reason or you don't put the the, the fluid in it that comes in the little package, then it, it's just not going to work and you're going to be right back to square one. They're going to have to send you a new test. So, you know, make sure that you... Make sure that you spit enough in, inside of it. You do everything like it says. There's a little white piece of, uh, of, I don't even know what material it is. Put that in a little biohazard bag with it, um, just in case it leaks or anything like that. Um, there's a paper that will come in the package uh, with it. You have to sign this paper. If you send it back without the paper, then you're just going to get an email saying that they can't do anything until they receive that paper back from you. Ooh. Um, so that's something you need to remember. Um, I'm always here for questions. Obviously, you know where I am. Um, and that's pretty much everything that I could tell you about Genes for Good itself. Um, if you have any other questions, it's not that complicated to go even even to Google if you wanted to and type in Genes for Good, you're going to get a lot of hits of other people that's talking about Genes for Good. And um, a lot of people that's trying to get it on gdmatch.com. Um, just other people talking about the results and all that. So that's a great way to get started. Also something else that I'm going to jump off of the Genes for Good website. Um, there are a lot of a lot of groups on here, as you can see. <laughs> I I belong to quite a few DNA or genealogy groups and um, none of them are going to say genes for good on it. 
it's not going to happen because honestly, a lot of people don't know about genes for good. So keep that into uh, keep that in mind while you're while you're doing it because you're not going to find one that says genes for good. Uh, basically, stick one to one like the one up here. You know, there's a lot of members on it, and it says gdmatch.com. That's going to be a good one. I'm not saying definitely go with that one. You could choose to do whatever you want to do. Um, but that's pretty much a good way to start. And then after that, you just go from there and see where else you got.